Uh, speaking of harmful, see what's great is that I forgot what review is next, but no matter what of our remaining options I picked, <laughs> this, <Yeah. laughs> that, that transition worked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, Daniel, so you watch this yeah. by yourself. I watch this by myself. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I watched uh, uh, Dark Angel. Okay, so the title of this movie is kind of weird. So uh, for the international release on it, it was called Dark Angel, but here in the U.S., it was uh, released as I Come in Peace. Uh, but for the for the sake of this review and the fact that on Amazon Prime it's called Dark Angel, I'm just going to call it Dark Angel. Um, so this is a very low budget, uh, action B movie, action flick, action horror, sci-fi flick, um, uh, came out in 1990. Um, and it was, it was actually filmed in Houston. Hmm. Um, and, uh, and I recognized Houston, uh, cause I, uh, I was actually living in Houston when they were filming this movie. Um, oh, okay. yeah. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, so the the movie star, stars Dolph Lundgren. Uh, he plays uh, Detective Jack uh, Kane. Uh, he's uh, I think he's like a narcotics detective because the beginning of the movie uh, he's sitting in a car while his partner's inside doing a doing a drug deal or and they're trying to bust this drug uh, kingpin, mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, uh, Lundgren gets uh, interrupted be, uh, by the fact that uh, in the liquor store that's right ne across the street from the drug buy uh, is is being robbed. So he has to go in and stop the robbery. But but while that's happening, his partner gets killed. Um, Mendoza. Mendoza. <laughs> well, well, no. It, well, in this in this case, um, uh, what, what what was it? Yeah, Manning. <laughs> Um, and, and yeah, his partner was black. Dang, like, just damn, like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> just hitting, hitting every note. Uh, so, uh, but, I mean, uh, but yeah, the pain came from somewhere. Yes. Um, and then, uh, but, uh, but the old, but the, 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 the twist in the plot is the fact that there is an alien that arrives on Earth. Uh, and he steals all of the heroin that's it kills everybody in, else in the room and he steals the heroin um, that the, the heroin that actually the drug guys actually stole from a, a FBI uh, evidence building uh, right before they blew you know, right before they blew it up um, uh, yeah the, the the drug guys are like these like uh, uh, white yuppies. <laughs> They all, yeah, they actually call them the white boys. <laughs> they, they look like white, yeah, they, they look like white, you know, upper class, you know. Uh, but anyway, um, so that oh, you know, yeah. they're just getting ahead of the tech bros, but they were macro dosing, not micro dosing. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so the, but the alien, uh, so the whole thing with the alien is he, uh, he take he he shoots people. So he has this like if you see it on the in the poster, he's got this gauntlet thing and shoots a wire out, and it ejects people with uh, heroin. Okay. And, yeah. So for those of you is those of you who probably don't know this, uh, like a huge problem with narcotics is that when you take it, it releases a bunch of endorphins in your brain. That's why that's why people get addicted to it because when they take it, they feel good. Um, so what he does is he, he basically overdoses people on heroin, makes their endorphins go crazy, and then he harvests the endorphins out of their brains. So this guy is basically, a, he's an alien drug dealer. So he's not like some, like, you know, conquering warlord. He's just a drug dealer getting drugs. Now, do, is he having the endorphins to get high himself, or is it more just like a food thing? It, it, it's to sell it. He's selling it like a drug. Oh, so, okay. so So basically... He's treating the heroin, so it's like that um, one type of coffee from I think India, where they yeah. feed it to a, um, a a primate of some sort, which hyper concentrates the coffee and then uh, no the civet yeah. that's the civet stuff that's right oh yeah the civet coffee and then they take the coffee beans out of its poop 
and serve you that. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, it's um, like hyper concentrating it. So he, so he's dealing to other aliens. Yes, he's or, dealing to other aliens. Yeah, and okay. Yeah, and that that's the other part of the movie too is uh, an, another alien shows up, same species as the alien, but he's a cop and he's trying to track down the. So so he kind of becomes Dolph's new partner. You would think, but that's not what happens. So, like, if okay. I was writing the movie, that's what I would have done, but that's not what they do. Um, okay. So uh, the 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 part of the movie that really bothered me was that. So uh, after Lundgren's partner gets killed, he gets partnered up with an FBI agent named um, uh, Smith. And uh, the, the actor's name is uh, Brian Benben. Uh, and I've seen him before in other things. Um, but he, and he's like the total opposite of Lundgren's character. So you got like, you know, you got Lundgren who's, you know, you know, he acts on instincts and he's very roguish and he's, you know, he, you know, he plays by his own rules and all uh, and and uh, Agent Smith is like the total opposite. He's a he's a team player. He's a, you know by the book, and you know you know okay. you gotta do things right. And and I, I think part of the problem I have with him is that he's a little too much like that to the point where it's irritating. Uh, and um, but uh, but yeah, so it, they spend the two of them spend. I hate to say it, they kind of spend most of the movie chasing their own tail. Oh. Yeah, because I mean, so like the only evidence they get is like the the alien you basically has like a killer CD. He shoots like a killer CD at people, and it, it like you know cuts their throats and everything, and it spins around, and it ends up in the uh, in a speaker on the in the club, and in the nightclub, and it's uh, you know because of it's magnetic, and uh, and that's like the only thing that they have to go off of, and they spend most of the time going trying to go after the drug dealer and they're not really focusing on like you know the fact that you know there's actually an alien now who's going around killing people they they can't figure out what's going on you know now do you as the as the viewer know what's happening before Lundgren does yes okay that's that's probably why it was so frustrating uh yeah. okay because like if, if they had layered it as an actual mystery that you as the audience and and as Dolph got to like figure out bit by bit as the movie went along might have sat better with you yeah probably yeah because well i mean you 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 see the alien do this stuff but you're it, you, you kind of like have an idea of what he's doing but you really don't get the confirmation until uh till longer and talks to uh the coroner who's like his love interest in the movie okay um but yeah it's just like like come on you know you're 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 focusing on this you should be focusing on that uh but anyway um and then it it goes really like uh it goes really uh, off the wall near the end of the movie like the, about the last 30 40 minutes of it this movie's only 90 minutes um mm -hmm. and it kind of goes off the wall near the end because then you have like because then like the 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 alien cop uh actually gets uh mortally wounded and before he dies you know the he, that's he's in the back of Lungard's car and he tells him you know hey i'm you know, i'm a cop like you and you need to stop this guy and they're like oh okay and and i'm like like you should have done that like maybe early in the movie <laughs> it's just kind of like it's just ugh. it seemed like you wasted a lot of time uh but uh, but yeah, and then and then you have the and then the the climax of the the third act is basically just one long action scene after another where the they're being chased by the alien and then eventually uh, you know Lundgren uh, you know corners the corners the bad alien and the reason the movie is called here uh, here is called I come in peace is because the, that's all the bad alien says is I come in peace okay yeah even even though. Uh, even though he really doesn't uh that's we call this dramatic irony yes <laughs> also even though the other alien the cop could actually speak so that's yeah it's yeah um but yeah yeah the the of course the the line in the movie right before longer and kills him is uh you know he says i come in peace and longer and says and you go in pieces asshole <laughs> it's it, it gets it, it, that's the the thing about this movie is it, it kind of takes itself a little too seriously in the beginning but then by the third act it's just like all right whatever <laughs> okay so 
so just from your description of it, it sounds like you're not analyzing it for the deep plot. No, there, well, they, well, yeah, there's there's not much of a deep plot. It's it's just a uh, alien drug dealer is harvesting endorphins from people, and Lundgren's yep. got to stop the alien. Now, does the alien look cool? He looks really cool on the poster here. He looks all right. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's he. Uh, the costume almost looks like a trash bag. I hate to say oh. it. Oh, so that which is the part they covered up on the poster? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The 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 arm whip thing is pretty cool, but other than that, and the guns are cool, but yeah. You know. Yeah. So would you say this is an enjoyable turn your brain off movie? Yeah, and uh, watch it with friends with plenty of alcohol. Gotcha.